It sucks when a comedy sequel sucks. Why? Dumb Dumber 2 is directed by the Farrelly Brothers, written by them, Sean Andrews and John Morris, Bennett Yellen, Mike Cerrone. Stars Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels back as... Harry and Lloyd from the original Dumb and Dumber. And once again, the same shit happens again. Yeah. Lloyd has been in uh, hospital, has been kind of been treated like I don't know some sort of mental hospital or whatever like that for like so like over twenty more than twenty years, and he's let out. I got well. He's been in a hospital. Like I'm just gonna look it up because guys, I'm amateur. You guys fucking know that. Well, uh, yeah. Sorry if that you're grossed out by that. Also stars Rob Riggle, Lori Holden, Kathleen Turner. But who gives a fuck? It's Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels they don't care about. Ever since that doomed Romeo's Mary, Harry was in a psychiatric hospital for, for 20 years. And as a result, an actor, he, this actually was an entire prank that was so goddamn dumb. As a result, like, he and Lloyd decide, like, he and Lloyd go to his parents' house, I believe, and they, and Harry find, Lloyd finds out that he has this daughter, he has this daughter who is adopted, who he never knew he had, he was adopted, and they, and he, and, Harry, he and Lloyd decide to go on a road trip. Wow. That's now like the original, isn't it? And on the way, they run into different characters. People like one, two people with bad intentions who are kind of the villains. And, uh, yeah. So basically the same thing. I love the first Dumb and Dumber. I love it. It's a 5 out of 5. It was a retro debut of the Fairley Brothers. And it was a classic. It was one of the best film, comedy film, one of my favorite comedy films of all time. It's a movie that's quotable. It's, it has quote has a lot of iconic scene, comedy scenes such as the toilet scene. <laughs> and there's a lot of iconic lines such as, uh, "Don't worry, it's okay. I'm a ten, I'm a limo driver." Well, I think that's a line. Comment below if I fucked that up. Just yeah. Or in the Rockies. Also quoting, also kind of parroting the uh, the Silence of the Lambs can't Chianti line. The liver ate liver with with fava beans. That nice Chianti, Chianti. <laughs> Damn, it's a classic. Don't get me wrong. I I love the first time I've ever. The sequel, I was a little excited, but at the same time, I was also kind of, I was also a little, dis I was a little skeptical because 20 years, and really no one was asking for this. Sure, it made over 169 million dollars on a 40 million dollar budget, but does that mean it was good? No, it was just successful at the box office. Although, not sure anyone really, although not successful as the first one, obviously. Why the fuck was I doing that? It's very disappointing to see this film come out. And almost ruin everything I love about the original. <laughs> Why the fuck do Kai sequels suck? It's not impossible! Fuck! Fucking hell! Yeah, hopefully I might get some head rush there. Well, uh, this film was disappointing. It was a comedy that I just didn't like. It was a sequel, it's one of the worst kind of sequels I've ever seen. Though Grown Ups 2 is the worst. Oh my god, is that awful. Another bad one, another terrible one, is, is Paul Robert Mall Cop 2. No one asked for it. No, Just like Grown Ups 2, no one fucking asked for it. This one, somewhat of optimism. And we were originally looking forward to a sequel when it originally came out in 1994. Jim Carrey's breakout year with, you know, Ace Ventura, Fat Detective. I guess look at that, 5 out of 5. Mask. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm 
a five out of five. You may want to ignore that because I have not given a review. I have not really truly thought up a review for Ace Ventura or The Mask. Though those are pretty good films. I think they're really funny. Um, but uh, this film disappointed me. I did not really like it. Well, no one really did. The biggest problem is the 20 years they had with this, they just didn't do anything. It felt like they just wrote. It's like they just slopped it together, or they just, or they did, they had just two months. They had a month before pre-production began. So as a result, they started writing and shit, rewriting, recycling the plot, recycle some crappy jokes, make, put in some other terrible jokes, and as a result, make a film that we don't like and thus butcher the original. The original is dumb, but at least we had some good gross-out gags that are iconic, and of course, it was funny thanks to solid writing, directing, and of course, acting. The cast was pretty. I mean, Jim Carrey, and Jeff Daniels had a great dynamic. And of course they did the best they could. and of course they really brought their they brought it. They brought the comedy and they made a film that's hilarious. Awesome comedy. Here, however, it's not the same. Now don't get me wrong, there are a few positives in this movie. I'm gonna start with those first. Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels, I think, do the best that they can do. And I do think and I do think they still have good chemistry, even though they are getting old for this shit. And there were a few times I laughed. But I think it's where the positives kind of end. The negatives are all, are all around here. The problem is they just keep repeating. They mostly just did most. It's almost a, it's kind of like a co carbon copy of the first one with a few changes to it. Also, I just didn't really. I just thought that was a stupid idea to not really do anything really new. And really, it's nice to see the characters back, but unfortunately, there's just not just just not enough good material here to really that doesn't that doesn't really give us a warm welcome. It's just kind of cool seeing them. It's just not really. It's just not fitting to see them again. It's not. You know, it doesn't feel great, you know. You just feel a little. You feel a little cold. You feel a little empty because I mean, oh, well, that wasn't worth seeing. That wasn't worth watching them again. <sighs> there were some funny scenes. Maybe like the farking that was kind of funny. I feel like the Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels really tried the best, but there are some characters I didn't like. Um. Hold on a minute. The fuck? Rachel Belvin, I think, is the worst character, is one of the worst characters in the film. Because once again, she is retarded. And to be honest, I just didn't really find her funny. She, her character, she wasn't good in the movie. And to be honest, I thought it was a little perverted for Lloyd getting some sort of connect, getting some sort of romantic connection to her, especially back how young she is. It just felt perverted. Sure, she's not. Sure, she's in her. Sure, she's not incredibly old. Sure, she may be an adult, but I still thought it was a little perverted. Also, I just didn't like her character, like Rachel Melvin. Like she just could as Penny. She just wasn't good. Like the daughter, she just wasn't good. She really didn't make me laugh. I thought she was incredibly stupid. And really, I just wasn't, I just didn't really enjoy it. The main antagonist, um, the antagonist, you know, Rob Riggle and Lori Holden. Rob Riggle's all, Rob Riggle's all over the place now in films. I love him 21 Jump Street, and I like this, and I love this game on 22 Jump Street. Don't get me wrong on those. But, uh, he was wasted here. I just felt like he wasn't all that good. He actually plays two characters, Travis and Captain Lippincott. Yeah, that's clever. That's really funny. It's really funny. I'm really tired, guys. That's why he's moving so slow. But overall, I didn't care much for these characters. I just didn't really care. They're not the best antagonists, and once again, this movie got so stupid at times. When it comes to these jokes, I think most of it really relied more on the execution than really any good jokes. They tried to, they tried to make up for these bad jokes by giving us the greatest execution they could ever do. But to be honest, I think I'm at a point where I think we're at a point where the uh, Fairly Brothers just hit a major low. They just kind of need a little. They kind of need to s stop, really, or just make a good script. Again, when I look back at Hall Pass, Hall Pass wasn't all that funny to me. I didn't find. I thought it was a little. And I laughed a couple times. I thought there were some scenes I thought were funny, such as maybe like the uh, confrontation. With the guy getting mad at his mom, getting mad that he, uh, the guy supposedly fucked, that Jason Sudeikis basically supposedly fucked his mom 
when actually he just said he faked chowder. And I kind of thought it was kind of funny involving the shot, involving the, the gun. I thought that was funny. But, and there were some scenes that made me laugh, but some scenes were just a little too disgusting. They just really didn't make me laugh very much. I thought some scenes were just so stupid. I didn't, from what I remember, I don't hate it. I don't really hate it, but I don't like it as much as I, I guess I originally did. It's, you know, you can't please everybody. And I, I have not seen there's something about Mary, but I would, I'd love to. I mean, I think I can get it on demand, so that I would try to check it out. I'm not the biggest fan of the Freddy I've not seen Kingpin either. Hate on me all you want. I will see it one day. One day you won't hate me. I just know it. You might just hate me for the sake of hating me, or just making fun of me, or just to say that, oh, someone actually hates you. Look, no one, not everyone can like you. That's so stupid. I don't care about popularity. Um, when it comes to the antagonist... Travis and Captain Lippincott, and of course Adele Pinchelo, played by Lori Holden. They're not the best. They're just, they're just kind of there. They're just stooped. They're kind of. I feel like that they're actually a whole lot smarter than they could be. But then of course they're dumbed down by the president. I feel like that their intelligence dropped to like this. Oh wait. Yeah. Yeah. Because of, well, basically, uh, Harry and Lloyd's presence. There's some scenes I thought were kind of stupid. Some of the grunts I gags, they didn't just it didn't fit for me. Some of the scenes felt I almost started they kinda of almost forced you to laugh. And overall I, I didn't find myself laughing very much at these jokes. Some of the jokes just really aren't funny. And that's not the best that's not a good thing. A comedy needs to be funny. And if you're not doing that, you fucked up. The biggest sin this is a base this is common sense. The biggest sin a comedy film can make is that it's not funny. Or it's not very funny. Overall, if it doesn't make you laugh, really, you have fucking failed. I just didn't like this movie, guys. I was really disappointed in the fact that they had so many years to make a sequel. I thought it could have been at least good. Or at least watchable, but the problem is it wasn't really worth the time. It's kind of like Anchorman 2. I didn't hate Anchorman 2, but I thought it, was, it just really wasn't worth all the time. Ten years for that. But twenty. That just hurt. This is what drags Dragon Ball Dumb and Dumber 2 down even more. I love Dumb and Dumber. That will remain a cl comedy classic. But this sequel is a bad follow-up to it. It should have done some... It should have done justice when you had the Fairly Brothers back. But I guess not. No. So yeah. That's it. Um, my rating. Also, it's disappointing knowing the fact that the dog mobile only appe only appeared in one scene. Fan service done. No real fan service. This is a cameo, a fucking cameo. Um, Dumb and Dumber Two, I think it's a two out of five. I think it was all I had. I thought it was a bad movie. I really thought it was a bad movie. I didn't have fun with it, but I didn't find it god awful. Really, I said I hated it, but I was really angry because I mean, I'm a fan of the original. Who isn't? I think it's good for some laughs. It's nice to see the characters back again. I think Jim. Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels had some good charisma, had some good chemistry, but unfortunately they are weighed down by a bad script. And some of the characters just aren't very good. Rachel Melvin's the worst. She just she's not funny in this movie. She's just not funny. She's stupid beyond any sort of fucking belief. And overall, I just it didn't it lacked the charm of the original. It just didn't make me laugh very much. And it was kind of sad to see what these to see what they came up with after twenty fucking years. Come on. Anyways, guys, my review for Dumb and Dumber 2, comment below. What do you think about it? How do you compare it to the original? Were you disappointed over the 20 years? Do you think it took way too long to get the sequel out? We all agree. Just comment below on the channel for more videos.